Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am using this palette once again, the Anastasia Soft Glam. I really am loving this palette. I don't think I've ever said that about any of her palettes. I'm loving this one and I almost didn't buy it. That's the part that kills me. So if you are on the fence about this palette and you love some of Anastasia's other palettes, you're probably gonna love this one. If you haven't loved any of Anastasia's other palettes, you just kind of liked them, this one you might love. This one you might love. So today I'm using um, a lot of the browns, the goldens, where yesterday I used a lot of the mauve, mauve pinkish colors. So I did want to create a second look using this palette. And at this rate, I might create a third uh, look with this palette. So that tells you how much I really like this palette. So anyways, if you want to see how I got this hmm, brownish look, stay tuned. Man, I was really close to that camera. I was like, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, so today is day two using the Soft Glam. So I wanted to do another look with it. And basically yesterday I, I used a lot of the pinks or the Dusty Roses. And so today I think I'm just going to get into the browns maybe. Not maybe. That's what I'm doing. So we're gonna use some orange soda way up here. I've got a lot of real estate it seems like up here that sometimes I just don't use and I try to squish everything in this little bitty spot because that's where everyone else's eyes seem to be except for mine. So I'm going to start trying to use my real estate. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, right? And playing with makeup, it's, you know, you get the opportunity to try different things. So I might have two transition shades. Why? Because of my real estate. Okay, um, underneath that I'm going to pick up some burnt orange. I'm using a Makeup Geek brush. This is their Soft Dome brush. And they just had a sale where you, you could like get 20, 30, or 40 percent off. And so I bought a sheet ton of brushes. Mm-hmm. Because these things are the bomb. And I think I'm gonna stop my Morphe subscription because they just keep sending big ass brushes and I don't need big ass brushes. I like these ones. So I think I'm going to stop my Morphe subscription, which yeah, I can't believe I'm going to say that. I just said that out loud, but mm-hmm. I mean, I've got a ton of big brushes. I don't use them. Okay. So this burnt orange along with the orange soda went on really nice. That orange soda looks super bright, but when you put the burnt orange next to it, it just looks pretty. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead, now we're going to darken up the crease since I used up my real estate. And I'm going to use the color Rustic. Yeah, I really love the Makeup Geek brushes. They last so long. They stay in amazing shape, which I love them, period. Great quality. And as you can see, I didn't just stay in the crease. I also came down. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, I'm just going to take one of these fluffy brushes. This is Morphe 510. Speaking of Morphe brushes. I think this brush was actually meant for like your highlighter. And clicking your tongue makes you remember things by the way. <laughs> but I really like it as a blending brush. I just do. Okay, so now we're going to take some Mulberry. I just love this color. So I think for this, for me, this palette, all I finally decided on buying it because of this little color. 
which I know is a stupid reason to buy a whole palette. But surprisingly, I like this palette. Like I haven't been over the moon about the last few ones that they put out. This one, Mama likes a lot. So I'm just kind of doing swirly motions, which is another very high technical term. Yeah, I just really love that mulberry color. It just screams yummy. And I love colors that scream yummy. So I'm gonna pick up another kind of fluffier brush. I'm not sure how fluffy, pretty fluffy. And I'm gonna pick up some more of that orange soda and kind of blend that out. That way I don't lose that orange soda as I had blended with that big, fat, fluffy brush from Morphe. I think actually I'm gonna pick up that orange soda also and use that right here to blend the color we used, which was rustic. Yeah, that looks a lot better. It blended that out and made it look much prettier. Of course, I like windshield wiper motions added with a little swirl. See, that softened it and made it not as, I don't wanna say chunky, patchy. It just looked patchy. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up this color here, Tempura, and we're gonna sweep that right up underneath the brow bone. And I'm gonna put a little bit right here underneath. Okay, decisions, decisions. I'm not sure if I wanna darken this up or if I just wanna leave it like it is, which is fun. I like being not sure. I am going to pick up some soft ochre. Just kind of hit in the middle of the eye or more of the middle of the eye, not going all the way in. And there's some really pretty colors. There's a, a bronze, there's a fairy, and there's a glistening. And for the life of me, I'm not sure. Decisions. This glistening, this looks a little too bright. This looks like it's got a little bit of an orange tone, and that might be a little dark. So what we'll do is we'll start with light, and if we don't like it, we can build it up. So let's go with the one that has a little bit more of an orange tone since we've used the oranges. Which that's pretty. That is pretty. I think for daytime too, since I am going to work, I think I am gonna keep it lighter today, which is odd for me. Well, I say lighter. I think I'm, I am doing this lighter color instead of going with the bronze. Now I'm gonna pick back up a bit of the rustic and I'm gonna go on either side of that color glistening just to kind of blend. So we get a little bit of a softer line or I should say so we don't have a line and see that just softened that up. So I do like that. I am gonna pick up that color glistening back on that flat brush. And that is really, really light. Really, really. Okay, I've been using a lot of my Thrive Cosmetics lately. I think it's because my eyes are so watery. Spring is sprung. And if I get it on before my eyes start watering, it just holds in place since it is waterproof. So this color I'm using today is Ella, which is a brown. Yesterday I used Lauren, which is a black. But my eyeshadow or eyeliner I've gone with lately has just been a little bit more smudgy looking 
and less per perfect. I haven't been worried about a flick or a tail or a cat eye. I don't know, I just got, I just needed something different. So I'll do the smudgy one for about a week and then I'll go back to doing, trying a flick and being depressed that I'm not very good at it. But you don't get good unless you keep trying, right? But the perfect cat eye still eludes me. Still eludes me. Maybe it's because I'm a dog person. Maybe that's why I do a smudgy one better. It's more of a dog, less of a cat. <laughs> I entertain myself. Okay, I'm gonna smudge this up underneath the eye. Now I'm gonna take my favorite little brush, little smudgy brush, technical term again, picking up the color mulberry because it screams at me. It says I'm the most beautiful color on the face of the earth. Which it kind of goes on more brown than it does rust, like the in the pan, but I still I still love it. I've got this rust. Well, this is torch. It's more of an orange. This is from Urban Decay. It's a glide on eye pencil 24-7. Just gonna torch that up on the inner water line. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that much better with the torch on the inside. That's so pretty. I can't get over this. I I did not think I was gonna like that palette. That may be my favorite palette they've done. Okay, it's time for Better London because I want better eyelashes. Which I'm not gonna do these super thick, I think, today. So I could have probably used a regular mascara. Cause I am gonna do some false ones, which I'll do the magnetic ones. But I'll do those off camera. Cause actually I won't do them off camera. I won't put them in this video cause I'm gonna do another video just on the false ones or on the magnetic ones. I'm having a blast with those magnetic Ardell eyelashes. I have no lies to tell. No lies to tell. Okay, so this is look number two using the Soft Glam palette. I went with more browns. Yesterday's I did more of the mauve tones and I'm digging this palette. This, I'm gonna have to say, buy it. I'm interested in see who's gonna come out with a dupe. Most likely one of the ones from Shop Hush, but in the interim, if you don't wanna wait for someone to do a dupe, this one is worth buying. I, hands down, you totally need it, which is not what I thought that I was gonna ever say. So you never know until you try, right? Thank you so much for watching day two using the Soft Glam Panet. Panet? No, it's a palette, not a panet, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what's holding you up? Please subscribe. Come on over. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.